What is up everyone? JD here. Hope you're doing well today. I have a mail call for us. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with the package on the left. I am not sure what is what and which is which, but we'll find out together. I'm gonna be using the Synapse XL, which is in the pocket today to get into these packages and see what we have here. Hopefully something fun. This is always my favorite part of the week. Anytime I get a mail call. What? Oh, that is really tightly packed. We're just gonna Slide it to the side here. Pinch grip all day. Um, does this go up or does this go up? This goes up. Okay. Let me just make sure there is no packing information on the inside. We got some stickers. Ah, oh, lefty, lefty. This is the lefty pass around package. Whoa, these peanuts are killing me. Got some lefty stickers here. And oh, cool. I've been really dying to check this one out. This one is the Hoback. What is this? The Quayback? Man, this thing is packed in here. <laughs> Man. All right. Let's get that out of here. And uh, we'll uh, take the peanuts and just throw all of that to the side. Thank goodness I got a lot of workspace here. My goodness, my goodness. All right. If you watch Lefty's channel, you probably already know what this looks like. But I'm very excited to check it out. Let's see. Do you just lift the top off? Do you slide it? Okay, you slide it open. Yeah, the Quayback. I thought that's what this was called. Really cool. If you're interested in some specs, this is just an unboxing to check out what it is. And there will be a full review once I've had some time with the actual knife itself. It looks like I'll give you a little tool here in case you need to adjust it. But let's take a look at the knife and set all this stuff aside. And I believe if I remember correctly, Kevin was saying that we might be the manufacturer on this. Nice stone washing on here. Got a Tonto blade shape. Really beautiful. I think this is the Mars fat carbon and titanium on the back side. You got the, what is that? Palms 23. Can't quite get it to focus. Yeah, hoe back and uh, pocket clip on here. Really nice action right out the box. Is that a front flipper? <clears throat> Sorry, still trying to get my voice back from losing it a little bit with my sinuses, but really interested in checking that one out. But let's set this aside for right now and we'll jump into package number two. Let's get into this box here. Oh man taped really really well this is a brand i wanted to check out that i have not checked out around yet uh or checked out previously and i'm just totally destroying the box trying to get in here man he had really taped this thing down you see that holy cow nobody's getting in here let's see i might have to just cut the box always cut away from yourself never cut towards yourself just in case you didn't know that already. Man, make sure there's no invoice in here. Okay, nope, doesn't look like it. I got a little bit of wrapping. Don't need that box. And I have a null knives. I always wanted to check one of these out. Very interested. I missed the drop, unfortunately, of the one that I really wanted. Um, there's some information if you're interested in the null knives really nice packaging let's see what we got in here got some more information here so you got a coa black pvd stone wash black pvd what oh hardware hardware is black pvd i'm looking under the camera so sorry about that but let's pop this out and have a look at the raiden in person finally move the box out of the way move the stickers up and as you can see, we got the stone washed handle and black PVD blade M390. Really cool looking pocket clip. Very nice detent on that. Let me get that again. Oh, it definitely needs to be broken in. Yeah, it definitely needs to be broken in. But first impressions, 
a little smaller than I thought it was going to be. I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, the jumping is a little far back, but I'm really excited to check this one out. It looks like it could be a good EDC size. And just so you can see against the Synapse XL. And uh, if you have a Quake in Quayback, you can kind of get an idea just really quickly of the knife itself. But this is just an unboxing, not a review. Um, I don't even like doing first impressions because I'm not really sure what to expect out of the knife when I get it. So I'm really interested just to kind of check it out carry it for a couple days handle it especially the pass around i don't have as much time with that one i have a little bit more time with this because that is my knife that i ordered myself so i'll be able to do a little bit more of an in-depth review i won't be doing any heavy cutting or disassembly with this knife as it's not mine versus this i will so just to kind of differentiate the expectation of these two knives i really just out of the box love how in your face the quayback is i think that's really cool i love all the space that you have on it and uh they did a good job with this button lock like i love the way that we is doing their button locks and uh really cool that it was a front flipper i didn't realize that out of the box and it works really well you got a nice detent on it and uh the raiden i'll just need to spend some more time with it I am not really sure out the gate who the manufacturer for the Null Nas Raiden is. Um, so I have to do a little bit of research and home, homework. Thanks Lefty for the opportunity to check out the Hoback Quayback. If you're interested in any of the reviews that I do for these, make sure that you're tuned in so you don't miss that. Shout out and thanks to everyone out there that likes, is subscribed, and regularly comment. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, peace.